Sinn Féin leader Mary Lou Macdonald has warned the UK government can expect considerable backlash should their new Northern Ireland bill impact the Brexit deal aspects safeguarding the Ireland peace agreement. The Sinn Féin leader warned the international diplomatic community is committed to protecting the peace arrangements in Ireland regardless of the UK's Brexit objectives. The UK government is set to unveil new legislation that would allow London to unilaterally override aspects of the current Northern Ireland Protocol. But Mary Lou Macdonald said Boris Johnson can expect significant resistance from the United States should the Belfast Agreement come under threat because of his new bill. Speaking to Sky's Sophie Ridge on Sunday, the Sinn Féin leader said, The United States is involved because they know as surely as we know that what is at play here is a very, very deliberate set of actions that undermine the Good Friday Agreement. Everybody from the White House, from President Biden, across American politics on a bipartisan basis, and you know as well as I do there are a few issues that unite political opinion in the United States and this is one of them. All of us have skin in this game, everybody knows that to protect the Good Friday Agreement there is an absolute imperative on Boris Johnson and his government to act in good faith and to act constructively, to engage, to respect the rule of law, and to understand that Ireland will not be the collateral damage in the games and gamesmanship at play currently in the Tory party. President Biden and Speaker of the House Nandy Pelosi have repeatedly warned they would not allow Brexit to threaten the Belfast. They have also hinted at a potential trade agreement with the UK being postponed if changes are made that would cause security concerns in Northern Ireland. Ms. Macdonald also accused Northern Ireland Secretary Brandon Lewis of talking through his hat when claiming the new legislation would not be breaching international law. She continued, Brandon Lewis should know, the Tory government should know, that where there are issues to be resolved with the protocol, issues of smoothing out its application, there are mechanisms through which that can happen.